Training constitutes a basic concept in human resource development. It is concerned with developing a particular skill to a desired standard by instruction and practice. Training is teaching, or developing in oneself or others, any skills and knowledge or fitness that relate to specific useful competencies. Training has specific goals of improving one's capability, capacity, productivity and performance. Training is a highly useful tool that can bring an employee into a position where they can do their job correctly, effectively, and conscientiously. Training is the act of increasing the knowledge and skill of an employee for doing a particular job. Training refers to the teaching and learning activities carried on for the primary purpose of helping members of an organization acquire and apply the knowledge, skills, abilities, and attitudes needed by a particular job and organization. Every organization should provide training to all the employees irrespective of their qualifications and skills. Mechanization, computerization, and automation have resulted in many changes that require trained staff possessing enough skills. Every organization should provide training to all the employees irrespective of their qualifications and skills. Mechanization, computerization, and automation have resulted in many changes that require trained staff possessing enough skills. In addition to the basic training required for a trade, occupation or profession, training may continue beyond initial competence to maintain, upgrade and update skills throughout working life. People within some professions and occupations may refer to this sort of training as professional development. Training also refers to the development of physical fitness related to a specific competence, such as sport, martial arts, military applications and some other occupations. Physical training concentrates on mechanistic goals. Training programs in this area develop specific motor skills, agility, strength or physical fitness, often with an intention of picking at a particular time. For psychological or physiological reasons, people who believe it may be beneficial to them can choose to practice relaxation training, or autogenic training, in an attempt to increase their ability to relax or deal with stress. Some occupations are inherently hazardous, and require a minimum level of competence before the practitioners can perform the work of an acceptable level of safety to themselves or others in the vicinity. With modern inventions, technological upgradation, and diversification most of the organizations have become very complex. This has aggravated the problems of coordination. So, in order to cope up with the complexities, training has become mandatory. The organization should train the employees to enrich them with the latest technology and knowledge. Every management has to maintain very good human relations, and this has made training as one of the basic conditions to deal with human problems. An employee's specification may not exactly suit to the requirements of the job and the organization, irrespective of past experience and skills. There is always a gap between an employee's present specifications and the organization's requirements. If you will be doing training and development with yourself or with others, you should know the differences between training children and teens versus training adults. Adults have very different natures and needs in training. Research suggests that each person has a style of learning that best suits their nature. Educators and parents are encouraged to learn the style of their students and children and to adapt their educational activities to the nature of the learner. Simulation-based training is another method which uses technology to assist in trainee development. 